Have you ever wanted to downgrade from Windows Pro to Windows Home without losing your data? Yeah, me neither. But there are a few reasons why you might want to. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it. Stay tuned. So this is definitely going to be kind of a niche video because there are tons of reasons why you might wanna upgrade from Windows Home to Pro. And the path for doing that is actually quite simple. All you have to do is change your product key to a Windows Professional product key and Windows will automatically upgrade you to Pro. However, Microsoft says that the only way to downgrade from Pro back to Home is if you do a fresh install. But here's the thing, I need Windows 11 Home for a video that I wanna do and I'm too lazy to do a fresh install. So I found a workaround and that's what we're gonna talk about today. But first, I gotta pay some bills, so check out today's sponsor. Is your copy of Windows 10 unactivated? Well, it doesn't have to be because with today's sponsor, VIP SCD Key, you can get a valid Windows 10 license for under $20. Stop dealing with that stupid watermark on the desktop, the valid license for Windows 10. Also, with an activated copy of Windows 10, you can upgrade to Windows 11 for free. Just go to the link in the description below and pick up a valid Windows 10 license key. During checkout, use the code CYBERCPU for a 25% discount. Once you have your key, go to your activation settings in Windows 10 and click on the link that says Change Product Key. Enter the product key you just purchased and hit Activate. Now you don't have to deal with that stupid watermark that come with running an unactivated copy of Windows 10. Now, on with the video. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you may know that I don't like doing fresh installs of Windows. I like fixing systems rather than taking the easy way out and just wiping them out. In fact, that's the distinguishing factor of a good tech versus someone who works at the Geek Squad. Now, no offense to the people working at Geek Squad. You have to start somewhere, I guess. But, like I tell people all the time, if the big box store tech was any good, he wouldn't be working at the big box store. He would be working on his own where he could make 10 times the amount of money. Now, like I said earlier, I needed Windows 11 Home for a video idea I had, and everyone said that the only way I could downgrade from Windows 11 Pro to Home was by doing a fresh install. Now, I understand that this is going to be a very niche how-to, but there are many legitimate reasons why you would want to downgrade from Windows Pro to Windows Home. For instance, I'll give you an example. I can't even count the amount of times that I've gotten a computer in my shop that has had just a straight up failed hard drive. That I didn't know what edition of Windows it had on it before the hard drive failed. So, I went through the process of installing Windows Pro just to find out that it won't activate with the digital license because it probably had Windows Home on it to begin with. Now, I could waste another hour of my time completely starting over and reloading the system with Windows Home or I could buy the customers a Windows Pro license. But wouldn't it be much easier if I could just downgrade to Windows Home? So let's jump on the computer and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing this from Windows 11. And if we come down here, let's go into settings real quick and let me show you here. Go down to system, go down to about, and you'll see this is Windows 11 Pro. And we're gonna turn this into Windows 11 Home. Now, this should work with Windows 10 as well using exactly the same process, but I'm doing it from Windows 11 because it happened to be what I had at the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. The first thing that we wanna do is we need to get an ISO for Windows 11. So if you already have one, then that's fine. You can skip this step. But if you don't have one, the way you get it is just go ahead and open Chrome and search Google for your Windows download, whether it be Windows 10 or Windows 11. You're gonna have to download for whatever edition that you're gonna be doing this on. Since we're doing this on a Windows 11 system, we're gonna go ahead and get the Windows 11 ISO. But if you wanna do it on a Windows 10 system, you'll have to do it for Windows 10. I'll leave a link down in the description below for both Windows 11 and Windows 10. So if we scroll down here and you download the disk 11 image, all you have to do is go ahead and select your edition, which we're gonna get the multi edition and then click on download now and it's gonna verify your request. It's gonna to wanna to know your language. Now you have to make sure to choose the same language as the version of Windows that you currently have installed. So if you installed English, you don't wanna install English International or Finnish or French because then it won't upgrade properly and we need this to upgrade our system. Believe it or not, we're gonna be upgrading from Pro to Home and you know we'll get to that when we get to it. So on mine, it's gonna be English, so I'm gonna select English United States, hit confirm, and at that point, 
it will give you a link to where you can download. And to download it, you just click the link right here and it'll start downloading. But this is gonna take a second to download and I already have it downloaded, so I don't actually need it. So I'm gonna go into my documents folder and here's where my 11 is right here. Okay, so once you get the ISO downloaded, just set it to the side. We're gonna need that a little bit later. Right now, we gotta make some tweaks in the registry in order to get this thing to think it's Windows 11 Home. And that's where the trick comes in. Let's get to it. Okay, so like I said, we need to go into the registry and we, make, we need to make the system think it's Windows 11 Home. And to do that, you go ahead and hit your start menu and just type regedit and go ahead and open your registry editor. Go ahead and hit yes to the user account control and regedit should open up. Now, there's gonna be two keys, actually it's gonna be about six keys we need to change, but they're in two locations. So the first one is gonna be in local machine and then we wanna go into software and then from software, we wanna go into Microsoft and then Windows NT. So we're gonna scroll down until we find W's, which is all the way down at the bottom. This is all alphabetical. So we wanna Windows NT and then we wanna go into current version. And now from right here, there's a couple of keys that we need to change right here. The first one is gonna be composition edition ID. So go ahead and find that. We got this right here. And for mine, it says enterprise. Yours may say enterprise as well. I think Windows 11 Pro falls into the enterprise edition. So we're gonna click on that and we're gonna change this to core and then go ahead and hit okay. And then the next one, we wanna get addition ID. And that's right here, we're gonna open it up. And for this one, it's professional, but we're gonna change this as well to core and then go ahead and hit okay. And then we wanna go down to product name. And then on product name, it's right here. And this one says Windows 10 Pro, which I'm not sure why it says Windows 10 Pro. It should say Windows 11 Pro, shouldn't it? That is kind of weird, but I'm gonna leave it that way. So we're gonna highlight Pro and we're gonna type in home and we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And then from there, we wanna to go to back into our local machine. So we're gonna scroll all the way back up. We want local machine, and then we want software. We want WoW 6432 node. So for that, we're gonna go down to right here, WoW 6432 node. And then we're gonna go into Microsoft. And then from Microsoft, we're gonna look for Windows NT. Same thing, it's gonna be all the way down near the bottom. And then we wanna go into current version. And we wanna do the same thing here. We wanna go into composition ID, change that from enterprise to core. Go ahead and hit okay. Then we wanna go into addition ID, and this one's gonna be enterprise. We're gonna change this one to core as well and hit okay. And then we're gonna go down to right here where it says product name. And for this one, it says Windows 10 enterprise, which Windows 10 again, I'm not sure why it does that, but not gonna argue with it. I'm just gonna change that to Windows 10 Home and then go ahead and hit OK. And then at this point, we can go ahead and close registry, the registry editor. Now you don't wanna restart your computer at this point. You essentially wanna go to where that ISO is that you downloaded earlier and we wanna start an in-place upgrade. So we're gonna go ahead and run setup. And that's gonna take a second to get started. And once it does, we're gonna go ahead and hit next let it do its checking for updates. And at this point, it's pretty normal what we're doing at this point. This is essentially an in-place upgrade. If you've ever done an in-place upgrade before, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, it says updates were installed, so it's restarting Windows Update. So apparently there's a newer ISO available, so it had to download a new update for it, but that's okay. So once we get through that, we're gonna hit yes to the agreement. And of course, it's got to check for updates again because why wouldn't it waste a little bit more of our time? So we're going to go ahead and let it finish that update check again. And I'm going to skip ahead until it's done. Okay, that took an extremely long time, but once you get to this point, it should say install Windows 11 Home, which is what we're trying to do, and keep our personal files and apps. So once it does that, we're just going to go ahead and hit install, and it should go through the update process. Now, the way this works is we're essentially fooling the installer into thinking that Windows 11 Home is already installed. So when it does an in-place install or an in-place upgrade, it's just gonna install the version that it thinks it's supposed to install. And if everything goes the way it should, everything should work fine. Now, another thing that I wanna mention is that I tested this process several times before I actually sat down to make the video, obviously. And I never noticed that it said Windows 10 Pro inside of the registry. I just 
assumed it was Windows 11 and didn't really look at it. The first time I noticed it was right now live while filming, but it is what it is. It's probably because this system started its life with Windows 10 and was upgraded to Windows 11 at some point in the past. However, with, with your system, just leave whatever version of Windows it says it has and just change the Pro to Home at the end and that should suffice. At least we're gonna find out if it does once this is finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the installer finish its thing and I'll meet you back in Windows. Okay, so we're back in Windows. That actually took quite a while to finish, but if we go into the start button, click on settings here and we go into system, we're gonna go ahead down to the about section. And as you can see, we are running Windows 11 Home. So when Microsoft says in order to switch from Pro to Home, you have to do a fresh install, they're wrong. And it was actually pretty easy. Now, once Windows is set up, you'll notice that Windows won't be activated anymore. That's because for some bizarre reason, you can't activate Windows Home Edition with a Windows Pro license. Personally, I think it's one of the stupidest restrictions that I've seen in Windows licensing because Pro is supposed to be the better version of Windows. So a Pro license should activate Home too, but I guess it is what it is. So you'll have to have a license for Windows Home in order to activate your system again. Today's sponsor would be a great source for that license. Luckily, my system already has a digital license for Windows Home and Pro, considering they've both been activated on my system at one time or another in the past. Now, with that said, Earlier in the video, I took kind of a shot at Geek Squad techs, but the sentiment is true. If you're working for a big box store as a technician, you can be making a lot more money on your own, at least if you're good. And if that's the case, I highly recommend you check out this video here where I show you how you can make money fixing computers on your own. I can honestly say that the hardest part about going out on your own is the guts to do it. But be careful because the freedom that comes with being self-employed is kind of hard to beat. As always, you guys have a great day.